from Squallywood, it's the Dan and Run Show. S. Stivet. The most entertaining word to say, a fun technique to master, and essential for the elite ski racer. Stivet. I'm Dan. And I'm Run. We are the Dan, Dan and Ron, Ron Show. show. Stivet, a portmanteau of steer and pivot. Although stivet is a ski racing term, big mountain skiers know a similar strategy called butter. It is not a portmanteau because the first part would be butt, and that's just weird. Way to pontificate about a portmanteau, Ron, but really, a stivet is just a turn with an identity crisis. Yes, but not the identity crisis found on Mulholland Drive, but rather on the steeps of Alta Badia. The identities are a pivoting side slip and a carving arc in the fall line. One would appear to slow you down, the other allow for optimal speed. You better have both skills dialed in. These two stivet skills are similar to the skills of the redirect, although they are very different techniques and tactics. While they both involve a pivot, the pivot in the stivet, ha, that rhymes. The pivot in the stivet is much different than the pivot in the redirect, which does not rhyme. There is one similarity. They are both turn initiations. The redirect initiation is that little flat ski pivot or steer that cheats the ski into a new trajectory so the rest of the turn can be arced. The stivet is a full blown pivot, followed by a side slip until the fall line, then the ski is arced. So both turn initiations lead to an arc, because arcing is cool. The steeper the terrain, the more the stivet is used, while on the moderate blues, the redirect can line you up for carving part of the turn. And on the flats, you better be sparking arc to arc. The biggest difference between the two is the attack angle. The attack angle is the angle between the skier's longitudinal axis and the path of the skier's center of mass. In other words, how sideways is the skier going? In the stivet, the skier has a big attack angle, which tells us he or she is going very, very sideways. In the redirect, not so much. And in the arc to arc, nicht, not at all. The stivet is not to replace the gold standard arc to arc carving turn. It could be sold as a tactical option. While linking arc to arc turns are round to round turns, the stivet is round in the fall line after a very straight path to get there. The resulting radius is smaller, which makes pressure more difficult to harness. This is a very important component. Hey Dan, what do you call a stivet that skids through the fall line? Ha. Worthless. The first phase of the stivet is a skid or a side slip, but that is only the first half of the stivet. The skis are almost pointed straight down the hill and the skis are very flat against the snow. This takes a boatload of skill and nerves. To make the skis actually turn or go in another direction requires edge engagement. This is the essential pressure in the fall line. Good advice for all levels of ski racers. Big mountain skiers will delay or spread the pressure out over a large distance because they are not concerned with losing tenths of a second. If you see this second phase skidded rather than arced, it means one of two things. One, the skier took too straight a line or the skier cannot manage the short pressure phase. The correction for both is to lengthen the duration of the pressure. Lengthening the pressure phase may change the turn transition it can become more of a redirected or even an arc to arc. Remember, the stivet is an elite level transition and the goal, like all race turns, is arcing in the fall line. We don't stivet for the sake of stiveting, we stivet to go fast. Fast is achieved by reducing friction between turns. This is accomplished with a flat ski or with the air stivet. Don't forget, the skier must also arc without friction. The tough part of the stivet is putting this carving arc in a very short radius. Let's see how a short arc is achieved in this divot.
The reason the radius is small is because all the pressure is put in a very small space. We say pressure, but the real secret is the impulse of the pressure. Squeezing all this pressure into a small space increases the impulse. One reason the stivet is fast is because of the direct line between the turns. Waiting until the fall line to turn means there's a lot of pressure in a short space. Big impulse. This is easily seen in the air stivet, which has no pressure until landing. This increased impulse really bends the ski, making a very tight arc. Disclaimer, this air stivet is only for the elite. Going to the other side of the coin, let's cover teaching a stivet, or should I say, teaching the skills of a stivet. First, and this is important, the skier has to be able to make an arcing or carved turn. Then, two skills we are familiar with, the pivot and the skid. Although not a slow pivot, this pivot is fast and deliberate, and not skid to a stop. This skid is fast with a very low edge angle. Bring your nerve. Let's review. Stivet has two skills, a pivot and an arc. It differs from a redirect because it has a huge attack angle. Got an arc in the fall line. And on the steep slopes only. This results in ginormous pressure. Which bends the ski in a tight arc. I'm Dan. And I am Ron. We are the Dan, Dan and Ron, Ron Show. Show. What was that about your butt? <laughs>